Sins room, uh-oh. Now that's a uh, ship's inter in inertial navigation system. Let's pop in and take a look. Automated, automated navigation, the ship's inertial navigation system is employed on aircraft carriers both for the ship's navigation and to provide information for the navigation systems of its attack bomber aircraft. Hmm. Let's take a peek in here. Wow. Oh, look at that. Now there's an old time computer. Oh yeah, Univac. I know these. Tape drives. Huh. Well, this will be also good for my uh, <laughs> retro computer uh, groups and things. Here's a Univac system. 1540 tape drive unit. Programs used to process the drive scope data were loaded from this 9-track tape drive unit. Each spool of tape was 2,500 feet long and stored a maximum of 40 megabits of data. 40 megabits. It would require 625 data tapes to store the contents of just one Blu-ray disc. Wow. Okay, that's, that's some old school computing right there. Right, and uh, once again a reminder, if I only use this part of the video in one of my old computing groups, this is aboard uh, a naval vessel, the USS, why do I keep forgetting the name? I keep forgetting the name of this ship, it's really crazy. I'm here in San Diego, <laughs> uh, and for some reason the name keeps escaping me. Oh, here's another Univac 1532 Teletype primarily used to load and control programs running on the computer. The 1532 teletype could also load diagnostic programs by reading programs punched into perforated paper tape. A paper tape example is shown below. It's funny because here I am probably uh, more interested than most. Uh, so let me get the name here. There's the Univac 1542 tele 1532 teletype. Aboard the USS Midway. And here's here's a nice display. Storing one gigabyte. Oh, one gigabyte of computer data. All oh, right, these are for <laughs> showing a reference. First generation core memory. Oops, hit the glass. 1960. This computer Univac model contains 60 of these core memory planes for a total of 32 kilobytes of memory. <laughs> in modern terms, in order to store one gigabyte of data, 524,288 of these core memory planes would be needed. Oh my god. Oh, that's funny, actually, in the display. LOL memory. LOL memory. Installed on the mid Midway in 1963, this core memory plane was state-of-the-art. There were 60 of them in this computer. All of them were hand-woven by women hired by Univac from the textile industry for their manual dexterity skill. Technicians began calling this memory type LOL. LOL memory. Okay, that's funny. Which stood for little old lady memory. What the hell? It's funny how we, uh, our terms and how we use them evolve over time. I've never, never have guessed. Second generation core memory, 1970. Starting in 1970, the Navy's second generation computer, the UYK-7, held a thousand kilobytes, one megabyte of computer memory. That's these chips right here. See, most people pop in and pop right back out again of this room here on board the USS Mid Midway. Oh, it's just computer stuff. Who cares? But uh, here we go.
of course in comparison to different types of memory. 1987, SIM, no, single inline pin package. 92, single inline memory module. 99, 64 megabytes PC 100. 2000, 128 megabit PC 133 memory. Probably more around the time I started using PCs. 2003, 512 megabytes double data rate. Memory stick, one gigabyte storage. And of course in 2013, our handheld smartphones and uh, tablets blow all that stuff away.